what I took from class is you should be very organized with your information. Like John said, he has 30 different stops. He said 30, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> you should prepare those if you would have 30 different stops, prepare that ahead of time and limit your grammatical errors. So, <laughs> yeah, I used to do that, I would say, like, and stuff, and, like, so <laughs> you should limit your grammatical errors, and articulation and volume, um, don't, going back to the volume thing, people want to hear what you have to say, so try to project your voice, this is usually, like, ten or more people in the group, so project your voice so that everyone can hear you, and... Don't speak too fast. They're gonna ask you questions if you if you speak too fast. So you might not want to repeat yourself after you said like a whole paragraph. You might not want to repeat yourself. And gestures and facial expressions. Don't just okay. This is this. And this is that. You want to have be lively. Like when we went on the tour of Bernadette, that she was really lively. And the main thing of many that I will take for me with me from class is the introduction and conclusion aspect because before you know I just more or less thought that an introduction would be like oh good morning my name is Laura but really it's the introduction is to catch the audience's attention it's more than that it's a big story that you know will get them really excited to go on the tour or something like that but that's what I really took with me and another real eye-opener was how much work goes into speeches because personally in the class definitely you can tell the difference between somebody who was not prepared at all and somebody who had really taken their time to prepare <laughs> and it also gave me a lot more confidence that's a big one <laughs> As Karen mentioned before, if it had not been for speech class, most of us would not be able to get up here in front of you today. In class, we were able to develop and refine our communication and speaking skills through different exercises and activities. One of the first activities we did when we came to speech class was we played a name game. So we sit like this in our class too, and we all had to stand up, and the first person had to say their name. And then you would say your name, but you'd also have to repeat her name. So then the next person would go, and so on, and so on. And it was pretty tricky, and we found that, <laughs> we found that people um, we didn't even know in our class would help us, because we were all new that first day, so it was a way to break the ice. Um, Dr. Venditti also had us every morning for the first probably two weeks of class. We would come in, and we had to change spots from where we originally sat down at, and we had to go around, yeah. We had to go around and we had to bump elbows with each other and say our names. So I would go up to Laura and say, hi Laura, or good morning, and then we'd be able to go find a different seat. So kind of like how Bernadette had us all feel the leaves, I felt like what I took from speech class is that if you're gonna give a presentation, the best thing to do is right off the bat try and break the ice and get everyone to feel comfortable and all be at the same level so that they can get the most out of the presentation. 